You know, because once you go to LA, you're gonna have friends like crazy, but they're gonna be fake friends. You know, they're gonna try to corrupt you. You know, and you got an honest face, and they're gonna tell you everything. But you cannot make friends with the rock stars. No, okay, okay. If you're gonna be a true journalist, you know, a rock journalist, you first you never get paid much. But you will get free records from the record company. <laughs> fucking nothing about you that is controversial, man. God, it's gonna get ugly, man. They're gonna buy you drinks. You're gonna meet girls. They're gonna try to fly you places for free, offer you drugs, and I know it sounds great. But these people are not your friends, you know? These are people who want you to write sanctimonious stories about the genius of rock stars, and they will ruin rock and roll and strangle everything we love about it. You know, because they're trying to buy respectability for a form that is gloriously and righteously dumb. You know, and you're smart enough to know that. And the day it ceases to be dumb is the day it ceases to be real, right? And then right. it just becomes an industry of cool. I, I mean, I'm telling you, you're coming along at a very dangerous time for rock and roll. I mean, the war is over. They won. 99% of what passes for rock and roll these days, silence is more compelling. And that's why I think you should just turn around, and go back, you know, and be a lawyer or something. I can tell from your face that you won't. I can give you 35 bucks. Give me a thousand words on Black Sabbath. An assignment? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You have to make your reputation on being honest and uh, you know, unmerciful. Honest. Unmerciful. Yeah, if you get into a jam, you can call me. I stay up late. 